Uh, my name's Graham Osborne. I'm part of the Osborne family, famous for its Lee Cockles. My name's uh, Andrew Lawrence, and I'm one of the directors of Osborne Sons. My main job is skippering our vessel Mary Amelia during the cockle season. My name's Pat. I run the uh, retail and wholesale side of our fresh fish business. The business uh, has been going since 1881. Graham and myself are fifth generation fishermen now. And two years ago we reopened Osborne and Sons Fishmongers. That's something that we've always wanted to do. Obviously nowadays we have a whole variety of shellfish and fish. So the average day will start with laying the counter out, getting the display on, uh, just getting the shop ready for the public. Once that's done I'll then organise and prepare whatever uh, orders I have for the restaurants that morning. Tuesday, Thursday and a Friday, I, I get up at half past three and get into market for about quarter to five. You do your selling and a bit of buying, get back for seven, half seven with the day's purchases. This is why I like buying from Billingsgate Market because you can look at what you're buying, you can go from stall to stall, see what's going to be the best quality and uh, go from there if the price is worth it. So we, we, you know, the business has sort of changed quite a lot in the last 130 odd years. Cockle industry is a really big business now. It is the biggest sustainable cockle fishery in Europe, so not a lot of people know that. They come down to Lee, they, they see a few little fishing boats. There's a lot, a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that most people don't know about. Our fishing week normally starts nine o'clock on a Sunday night. That's when we're allowed to start fishing. And then we uh, catch our cockles. We come in and we try and have a, a Monday morning cook ready for the cockles to be then taken to Billingsgate fresh for, for a Tuesday. The Merry Meal our cockle boat catches cockles in the Thames Estuary. We're allowed to catch 14 tonne per day. It takes around about three and a half hours to cook a boatload, which then all get packaged and go to Bain, Billingsgate, all around the coast really. We've got four boats, the Mary Amelia, which is behind me. Which is the current cockle boat. That name comes from the great, 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 great Nan. Without Mary Amelia, none of us would be here today. Uh, our other vessel, Boy Lukey, that was named after Luke Osborne, who, who was lost at Dunkirk, who's my nan's brother. And then we've got the Renown, it's been in the family. The, the first one was launched in uh, 1928 under that name. That was the original Renown that got lost at Dunkirk. All that fish is fresh. If you want to come down to the shop, it'll all be hand prepared, filleted for you. Fresh mussels on the counter, hand picked every day. Lobsters, crab, we'll buy those in live, cook them and prepare them to order. Uh, I've been a fishmonger for knocking on for 10 years. So I like the location, beautiful down here in the summer. I've got an interest and a passion for my job. Um, I've always been a great lover of fish, even when I was a kid. My favourite dish, I'll have to say the famous Lee Cockles, wouldn't I? The, the best thing you can have on the day is fresh cockles straight into a pot, a little bit of vinegar and pepper. That is the best taste you will ever get. But you've only got to mention cockles and everyone knows the name Osborne. <laughs>